are sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of uh, Rep Talk. So today we've got the uh, very, very famous on LinkedIn, Mark Hopkins. But you, yeah. you were a celebrity there, mate. You were like, people were, <laughs> people were, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, did you just think, yeah, that looks <laughs> sick. I'll put that out. Like, what was that all about? That, oh, wow. So for all of you, like, 2000s recruiters out there, like, just, it, it hurts us. Yeah. It hurts it's us. Sick. In the soul. That's Your personal brand really, really stood out at that point. And personal brand is something that you kind of had a thing about, <laughs> don't you? Mean? But the, the difficult thing was at the time as well, it was within the recruitment industry. So outside mm. the industry, it was even harder to push that. So I think, and, and a lot of the times as well, when you speak to clients, it's not the fact that they need to use agencies, they want to use agencies because mm-hmm. they can't be bothered to do all that Bingo. grudging them. So right. back to that big agency that I worked for, I worked for a few big agencies, but the biggest one I worked for. We're brilliant at training you. I just like the fact that I'm just a recruiter talent people. I'm marketing. This is marketing. Yeah. You're just going for an interview mm-hmm. where you believe this is great to tie for you. Yeah, that's it. But that constructive feedback. <coughs> All right, so give me the job. I'll mm-hmm. go find you soon. Found the <laughs> Went over to him and I went, he rejected me three years ago based on what I was dressed like. <laughs> and he just looked at me and laughed and he went, well, but sometimes it goes in their favour as well. Do you yeah. remember, remember that girl who did a BD call that jumped in the sea? Because you know, there, was, there was one person at some point on YouTube and yeah. went, like, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. And somebody heard that and went, that's fucking brilliant, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> and then everybody starts using it. And now most most influencer YouTube videos end with, oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, I've, had, I've had three guests, so we, we booked in 10, uh, that grew to 15 over this weekend. I've had three pull out, because they've thought about it and they're just not comfortable in front of the camera. Exactly. And they're like, they and they pull out games really strong. And they pull out games really strong. No, but you know more about your candidates than what, let's say, the other agencies that they're yeah. working with. Or you know, yeah, yeah. like, I, I, I've got clients where we, I, I've had conversations with their kids. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's been in the car, she's like, oh, I've got kids in the background, the kids have said hi, and all of a sudden you're, yeah. you're just having a chat. Yeah. And we've got, we've got clients and candidates that we work with where they, they know our birthdays or they'll send stuff out to us. And just, yeah. You just be, you be, you go beyond kind of that professional relationship. And, and this, you, this brings me back to my point, right? The barrier to entry into recruitment is so incredibly low. We take for granted what we can do naturally, other people just cannot do. I'm not having a vasectomy. And also, he had a vasectomy and then she got pregnant. So don't even, don't even. And I was written off for like 10 days. Anybody that tells you it doesn't hurt, they're wrong. Oh. It's a weird sensation anyway, right? But or someone tickling it with your giblets. Yeah, well, there's just a lot of pulling and tugging going on. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>